Louisiana Beer Reviews Red Horse Beer. This is a special edition revisited. So I uh, bought this at at Golden. Can't remember the name of the place. Okay. Bought it in, bought it in Metairie, Louisiana. It was $15.99 for the six pack. Chinese store, Golden Wall, Golden, I just can't remember the name of it, something like that. Um, it's an incredible place, but my daughter was like, you should have walked all around looking. I said, I didn't know what I was looking at. All these uh, Asian products, I didn't, I'm going to go back and try to do a better job of just looking at it. They had San Miguel beers, Singa, other Asian beers, and uh, this Red Horse. Got the big tractor out there cutting grass, so it's making some noise. You should probably hear it. Um, it's golden. It does have sort of a red tint to it. Maybe that's why they call it. But well, I mean, it's probably power of suggestion. Probably doesn't really. It's like red horse beer. I always thought it had like a red tint to it. Red, uh, red dog beer. <laughs> But I don't think it did. It's a loud tractor. Okay. It's got a sweetness, a honey like aspect to the nose. moving away go away go away uh, go away public utilities okay um, I put it in the freezer for a little while uh, it's good to have these super cold maybe I have it too cold though um, you get rich barley malt rich um, if you look at beer advocate rate beer Golden City, that's the name of it, Golden City. Um, if you look at Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, Untapped, they're going to say, this beer is trash, you know, don't buy it. It's not worth it. Nobody likes it. 6.9, I was saying in a previous video that it was 6.8 in the Philippines, but 6.9 in the Philippines, and for the export market, it's 8%. Now this bottle is brewed by San Miguel's Thailand. They have overseas, not just in the Philippines, there's seven breweries in the Philippines. I was doing research on the San Miguel website. They started in 1890. They received um, like a, a license, essentially, from the King of Spain to produce beer. It started as a beer company. Now it's a huge enterprise. I mean, they, they do all kind of things. They don't just produce beverages, but um, it's a conglomerate. But they started in 1890. The King of Spain gave this uh, license. And because uh, Spain ruled the Philippines until 1898, when the United States stepped in and took it over until 1946. But anyway, uh, then they start making San Miguel beer, St. Michael beer, in English. At some point along the line, they added this, you know, San Miguel Pilsner, 5%. They added this 8% or 6.9 in the Philippines, strong version, okay? I don't know what year they introduced this. I was trying to find on the website like a timeline, but they didn't have it. They make a San Miguel Dark, also 5%. They're saying on the website it's caramel flavored. I mean, I think it's literally caramel flavored. <laughs> like, that's what makes it dark. Um, and they have an all malt version. They call it San Miguel all malt, like a richer Michelob type thing. 
So, um, I don't guess this one is all malt. It's probably got a corn grits or corn syrup adjunct. Or rice, if it's from Asia, right? Uh, Asia Pacific, the Pacific Islands. Philippine Islands. Um, they have a brewery in Hong Kong, China, two other parts of China, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia. So it's a big, big outfit. Um, I know some San Miguel is brewed in Spain under a contract, or they might be associated with San Miguel in some way, the uh, parent company. Put it in this shelf glass kind of thing you might see at a bar and this is probably the kind of thing you might see drunk in a bar in the philippine islands or thailand probably not so much in thailand um, but yeah i've been to a number of barrooms seen shelf glasses uh, It's a uh, medium body, high medium, so close to heavy. Get the bread, like a, like a, almost like a red wheat <laughs> flavor, but I know it can't be right. Uh, the breadiness, the richness to it, hop bitterness is basically non-existent, okay? So if you're looking for a, a hoppy beer, yeah, don't look for this one. It's malty, it's grain e like I say, like a wheat. They might add wheat to it also, maybe red wheat, but um, it's probably a, a thinking of rice. I'm just thinking of geographically, I don't know, but I think it's probably a rice adjunct, which is probably mostly tasteless anyway. It's fairly crisp. Not you know these eight percenters and higher, they don't get too. They're not too crisp. Could be a little sweet at the end. It's mostly dry though, it's probably 70% dry, 30% sweet, but that sweetness is creeping in. But not in a bad way. Wouldn't want it any higher. It's probably two and a half out of five sugar cubes, well, probably three out of five sugar cubes and one out of five hop cones, okay? It's easy drinking, which can be dangerous. It's only 11.2 ounce bottle, so unfortunately it's not a full 12 ounces. So I paid a lot and didn't get a lot. But I wanted to try it. I'll probably never see it again. I mean, I guess if I go back to Golden City, but I'll be looking for something different the next time. I first bought this in 20, I think, 13 in Florida City, Florida. Found one bottle. Bottle, I reviewed it. A lot of people like the videos. The video... Um, and then I revisit, I'm revisiting it now. I'm having a good experience with uh, Red Horse. Very heavy bottle, much heavier than American bottles. So anyway, score, yeah, I think it's a most excellent beer. Um, it's not an imperial stout. It's not a pastry stout. It's not a sour, fruited sour, or a farmhouse ale. It's not a lambic. It's not an India pale ale. It's not a double IPA. It's not a hazy IPA. The triple IPA. It's just a Filipino strong lager, and it's a really good one. It's a it's a great one, really. So I'm gonna go with 93 out of 100, 9.3 out of 10. Yeah, so 15.99. You're paying the import price. You're paying the specialty price. You know it's not a good deal, but it but you don't get to try it if you don't pay that, right? So I could have bought. I could have bought. A hazy IPA called Bat Squatch the other day for twelve ninety nine a six pack full twelve ounce cans, but I didn't buy it. So I'm, you say you bought that and you didn't buy. It. Well, you see the reason is because those are here, you know those are here. They're made here, and they shouldn't be twelve ninety nine. But this is from over there, so you got to take that into account. I would like to get the Bat, bat Squatch though, but maybe more for like nine ninety nine. Not twelve ninety nine. Okay, because I bought another in, uh, hazy IPA, similar ABV and whatnot, uh, from another company, and it was nine ninety nine. 
Okay. So, laissez les bon temps relay, a most excellent, strong Filipino, well, in this case, Thailand, but according to their recipe, uh, lager. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to one of the San Miguel breweries in the Asian Pacific region and take a brewery tour.